Hello guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. It's your girl Mac Like The Makeup with MA Couture Crafting and I want to talk about my English paper piecing journey thus far. Whoop whoop, this is where we are. This is slow. It's a slow process. I'm not stitching every day and everything is being hand sewn and I'm loving every minute of it. I'm really enjoying this. As you can see, the papers are still in. I need to take them out, but I'm a little hesitant to do so. I don't know why, because all of these in here can actually come out, but I don't know. I'm still using the 100 weight thread. I think it's 100 count. Yeah, not the 80, but the 100. It's the super silky, super fine um, thread, and it does kind of just melt into the seams. They're actually like much more hidden than they were before i'm getting better little by little um don't judge me or judge me a little bit whatever whatever um i'm getting better as i go along i'm kind of finding my rhythm i'm enjoying this but it's not fast and so i could be moving faster but i'm just going little by little so if you want to see me do i think i did these and these um on camera tune in and see how this is done again this is english paper piecing and we're just going little by little and i'll just show you my progress as we go because this is the first time that i've done something like this and as a beginner sometimes you're kind of scared to see if you can do things and if i can do it you can absolutely do it this is the pollinate pattern okay all right guys see you next time okay i just want to show you guys what's going on with this pollinate quilt that I am hand doing. So it's the style of sewing is called English paper piecing. And I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So I've got a glue stick in my right hand and I am putting the glue on the paper and on the fabric at the front and the back, but mostly on the paper. Like right here, I have to put it on the fabric. And then I'm just pushing the fabric up to cover the paper pretty tightly and then that piece is ready to be sewn it's actually kind of fun <laughs> cutting out all the little pieces and stuff i need to get a rotary cutter to go in my kit so that i can move a little faster because i'm actually cutting these out with scissors which is fine, but it would be faster if I was cutting with a rotary cutter. I could cut way more layers faster, just faster. So I'm going all around the sides and I'm putting that glue on there and we are just folding it up. And again, so I think, I don't know, um, I don't know which shape this is. But I don't know if it's A, B, C, D, whatever. I don't know. But this shape and the shapes that are to the left all go together. They're like the next step. And I have sewn the, at this point, I've sewn them together and I have more. And I'm wondering if I'm going to show you guys all the shapes because some of these shapes are easier to fold over than others. And I don't know what I'm doing. You guys know that this is new to me. I'm just able to work my way around on this one and it worked out fine. But there is one shape that I was covering that was not coming out properly. I'm like, what the heck kind of geometric shape is this? And I struggled, but we made it through. Um, it was still able to be sewn together, but it was, it's weird. Watch when you see me, you're going to be like, what? Why is she folding it like that? So with some of these shapes too, like this one right here, the front and the back, you need both sides so it has to be reversible so make sure that you are not just doing a shape one direction and then you forget the other direction because that would be bad I mean you can just pull it out and do it again and flip it over but you don't want to have to do that if you can avoid it so again this is the process this shape was super easy to fold over it was more this one was easier than the one that I did before and again, I'm using a sew line glue pen and it is definitely water soluble and you can wash it out. And I'm just folding up the fabric over the paper. And then you put the pieces like right here, you'll go right sides together and you just sew all around, see? And that's the shape that I was after. 
and this is the pattern now this is the shape that was mean to me I'm like how the heck do you, are you supposed to is this the one no it was the other one. I don't know I think yeah this this is the shape that was mean to me that fabric is called spectrostatic this is spectrostatic one I've actually ordered some fabric from spectrostatic two that has come in that I'll be using um, this is by juicy juice and I like it it reads as a solid even though it's got some texture to it they're bright they're pretty colors there was a rainbow of sorts and I thought why not I've seen people do this so many different ways with patterns and things but for my first one I prefer solids anyway so I figured I would just go with this I'm using my Tim Holtz paper scissors to cut this out I don't love that I'm using paper scissors on my fabric again I need to go grab one of my mini rotary cutters and put it in the kit that I keep with me up here for my English paper, English paper piecing because this is ridiculous. I could be moving so much faster. I had a rotary cutter up here, but the blades were super dull. I don't know why I couldn't cut through the fabric. I need to get another one. Maybe I'll do that today. Now this is shape J yeah J and luckily I love when the sides don't when it doesn't matter when they are universal love that and here we go it seems like I'm further along than I am on this and I'm not I'm not very far along at all but oh well this is not supposed to be a fast project this is supposed to be one where you take your time practice some mindfulness relax and it's doing me good I still like it um, I'm not gonna abandon it at this point point. and uh, thanks for watching guys